Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this sequence. Find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so um, it's just a matter of rearranging. Um, it's just a matter of rearranging this. So um, so 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 remember, if you have uh, root a over b, that's the same as uh, root a over root b. So uh, so here you've got this thing here. So so basically you're you're going you're traveling from here to here. So uh, that will then give us this. So now um, once once you're here, once you're here, um, divide top and bottom, divide top and bottom by n. So uh, so that would mean this thing divided by n. That's this bit. And then one divided by n. That's this bit. And then down here you've got one divided by n. Sorry, you've got n divided by n. N divided by n. So, uh, so this thing here becomes this. Um, as n tends to infinity, this is going to be zero. This is going to be one. This here is going to be two. So it becomes, it becomes, um, it becomes uh, root two plus zero over one, which is two. So this is a constant as n tends to infinity. There's no n in here, so it's just root two. So the answer is root two. Okay. So next question, um, uh, find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. You try, um, ingrain this in your mind. Um, one, so, so if you have, uh, if you have one plus one over n, you know, well, this is one, this is a positive, so it's going to be positive one, which is one. Uh, or, uh, if, if you have, uh, if you have one take away one over n to the power of n, Sorry, to the power of n. To the power of n. Then, uh, then, then, then this would be um, e. Well, this is a negative. This is one, so it's going to be negative one. Well, just bear that in mind. Try and ingrain this in your mind. Well, find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay. So to do this, um, look, look, just look at this bit here. Re remember, remember in the past if. Um, uh, remember in the past, if, if you, if you have something that's easily square rootable, easily square rootable, and there happens to be a minus in between, then you can immediately jump to, uh, 2x plus, and then it's gonna be 2x minus this, and then square root of that 3, 3. So it's basically minus plus. Um, you should recognize something. Try, try and keep an eye out for, for something being easily square rootable, easily square rootable, and there happens to be a minus in between, then jump to this. Well, if, if, if you look at this, easily square rootable, square root of 1 is 1, and then this is easily square rootable, uh, and there happens to be a minus in between. So you can jump to this. So you can jump to this. So now, uh, now, uh, re remember if you have a times b to the power of c, then, then that's going to be, well imagine it's a 1, 1, so this is going to be A, C, and then B, C. Same thing here, so, so imagine this is 1, 1, so this will be this, to the power of N, and then this exact same thing, but to the power of N, to the power of N. So now the limit of a product is, a, is the same as U, well, so, so, so this thing here is going to be E, so, so if you look at this here, it's, um, Positive, and this thing here is one, so it's positive one. If you have, um, yeah, okay. If if, if you um, if you see that this is a negative, negative, and this is one, one. So adding these two together gives you e to the power of zero, which is one. So the limit is one. 